Hi everyone, so I haven't done a barn vlog in a very very long time Like an actual barn vlog, like just a normal daily in the life Kind of like just writing, just like a normal day I always seem to kind of vlog lessons or shows and stuff um, And I don't really vlog like out at the girls So I thought I would try to do that today I haven't ridden Chile since Monday last week and She had a round yard like groundwork session and then she cut herself like pretty mildly, but I, like I didn't really want to work her on it So I kind of gave her a few days off and I had a show that weekend with Eddie So I was like kind of busy and I just didn't end, up getting, didn't end up getting any time to work her and then same with Nelly And then she had was groundwork the same day as Chili and then like since then she's had it off So I haven't really been doing much with them just because of the weather and I've been quite tired lately Because obviously I've got a disease and it makes me quite fatigued I've really been able to work on any of the things that my instructor wanted me to work on with Chili So I've kind of just been like, hmm I, yeah, have just been slacking off I, I just, I don't know, I'm going through a phase right now where I just don't really want to ride Like, I want to ride but like, I can't be bothered riding Like, if that makes any sense, it's just My brain's like, yes, and then my body's like, no, and it's like I had to buy Chili a new bit because I went to my lesson and my instructor was like I don't really like the bit she's in it's not very like soft and I just feel like you'll have a better time in this bit so she gave me like this recommendation to a bit and it was like $250 and I was like that's not happening um so I found one for super cheap well, super cheap it was like $125 regardless but considering the retail price it's a lot cheaper um, so I'll show you guys that bit that I brought. Fingers crossed she likes it. If not, then Nelly can have a go in it and see if she likes it. His plan is to go out later this evening because it's so hot. Um, and then obviously work them this afternoon. Nelly will probably just get a lunge because I don't really feel like riding her because her saddle is not fitting good at all. Um, it's like slips onto her shoulders. So I'm hoping to get that fitted Thursday because I was planning on taking Nelly to an endurance ride in March, like the start of March, like the 13th of March. Um, but she's not going to be ready to do that. So I'm thinking of aiming during pretty much April, another endurance ride in April. So yeah, that means I can get like stuff in stuff in order because I need to get float yards. I need to kind of get my float fixed a little bit better. Like there's nothing wrong with my float. I can, I can use it as it is, but it's not really set up for camping and stuff. So that would be good to have all that set up. So yeah. So this is the bit that I got for Chili. It's a... Steuben uh, KK snaffle or something like that. Basically the idea is it is that the little peanuts tilted so like when it sits it's like just like sitting and like I don't know I'll put on the screen how they described it anyway. It's like over on the right there I put a description. But yeah I just got it in the egg butt because my hands are quite bad so with the egg butt you can keep it still in her mouth rather than the loose ring so if you see here like when you put Oh, it's kind of hard to show one-handed but like if you pull it like the it's all independent and it doesn't like poke up anywhere like none of it's like pokey or sharp it kind of just sits there and like there's a little bit of weight to it so hopefully she likes it and hopefully it fits because it looks quite small like it is a five inch and she's quite small mouth but I don't know like comparison to my hand it's kind of small but yeah we'll see if not, I'm sure the resale will be okay because it's a fairly expensive, like you cannot find these bits anywhere for that price. So but yeah, if you can kind of see like that, it doesn't, like no nutcracker at all. So I'll also try the Miklum as well because I have used a Miklum on her before, um, but I kind of just wanted to use my other bridle because it matches my saddle and stuff. But obviously if she goes better in the Miklum, then I'll just use a Miklum. So yeah. So yeah, this is what we did last week. So they both had Monday off. Chili was jumped Tuesday and then Nelly was off. She didn't go ridden that day. And then, yeah, they pretty much had everything off. They got lunged Thursday and then they had Friday off. Like, none of that happened because I didn't have time. You guys, how I set that out in the week so that you guys can see how I plan my horse's weeks and stuff. Like, how I plan my horse's weekly schedule. I don't stick to it, but, like, it's a good reference to go back on if I'm struggling to figure out what to do with them.
that may not happen but like obviously it's a good idea to have something in plan yeah and it can it just kind of if my mum wants to know what I'm doing then she can look at there and see what I have planned and up here I have a calendar so I had Bumbrew Show jumping the weekend gone and then I've got the saddle fitter on Thursday which is tomorrow and then I've got another show on the 22nd and then I've got Pony Club Rally with Chili and Dean um that's pretty much all I've got planned so far. I don't have any lessons and stuff booked in yet. So, yeah. And a pretty picture of Nitty and all my other horses, Spencer and Penny. All up there. Can't even tell they're hungry. They stand here from about 4 o'clock and then wait for me to come and feed them because they're starving creatures. So, I'm just gonna go get his dinner and then grab her dinner. Penny doesn't get fed much now because she's little fat baby and she doesn't get worked so this is my current setup of a feed shed and then I've just got all my feeds in here so I've got Speedy Beat, Lupins, Eddies, Muesli, Chaff, Looser and Pellets, any supplements down here and then I've got more Lupins and then my last lot of hay which I brought and it's slowly going down and I'm kind of worried that I won't be able to find any more but yeah, anyway, so this is Eddie's feed. So he gets. Oh, this is kind of hard to do one hand, but. So he gets some lupins, not a lot, but a little bit. And then he gets a scoop of muesli. So he just gets a scoop of muesli and there is moths in there because it's a sweet feed so they kind of just it happens in winter you can't really do anything about it oh it's high gain senior and then they he just gets loop, looser and pellets just a few he gets two scoops of oat and chaff And then for supplements, he just gets electrolytes and foresight as well as a vitamin mineral supplement because he doesn't get the recommended amount of high gain senior, otherwise he would be psychotic because he doesn't need that much sugar. Ta -da. And then yeah, I just put eight six mils of foresight in there and then wet it and feed it to him. So Penny gets a full scoop of lupins. A full scoop of lupin a uh, lucerin pellets. Like that. Mum's feeding Eddie, as you can see, he's running off to go get his food. <laughs> and then, um, she just gets a little bit of chaff because she shouldn't really be having oat and chaff, but I don't have any other chaff, so it's kind of like you have to just deal with that. So, a little bit of chaff so she doesn't choke on everything else. I probably should soak everything else, but it goes off because of how hot it is at the moment, so she just gets a scoop of chaff. So just a little scoop of electrolytes to make it taste nice. And then she just gets um, a vitamin mineral, which I'll be swapping them to something different because that one didn't really work very well. That one was the Carol Layton's one and it just doesn't. Like they're nice and shiny, but I don't know, vitamin E capsules. She has three of them. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about changing the zoom. Crap. Mm. Keeps telling me change zoom and I don't know what the hell it's talking about. Just keep saying change zoom. 
And then it says change zoom magnification. If you want to. So if you want zoom to. up the top there. Okay, but you don't have to. No. And when it's like it's going eight, nine, ten, it's recording? Yes. Okay, so I've just done a thousand little videos. You hear me swearing and carrying on in. <laughs> Good morning everyone. So I actually didn't finish the vlog off yesterday because I forgot and I was having a really really bad pain like pain while riding um, and it was dark by the time I rode because it was so hot so yeah. Um, I think I'm just going to continue the vlog on today. I have a doctor's appointment this morning which is kind of exciting because it's an AFO appointment which is like leg prosthetic type of stuff you guys will see anyways. But yeah it's currently 7am. And we don't have to leave until 8. So I'm going to take my dog for a quick walk because he hasn't been out in a while. And I feel kind of energetic a little bit, maybe a little bit. Enough to go for a little walk anyway. So, yeah. Run out of storage on my phone. So vlogging is going to be hard today. So I just figured out how to use iCloud. So now I've got storage on my phone. It's literally what I spent my whole walk doing trying to figure that out. But I have figured it. I seen birds. I was walking over here. Birdies! I want the birdies so bad. fine form like most of my doctors they stuffed up my appointment and basically the person that was doing all my casting and AFOs left. So they had to restart the process since I've been waiting for them since August so now we have to restart the whole thing. So today we casted my feet again, my feet and legs to make my AFOs. As you can see they kind of like put this plaster, cut it off and then that's the mould. Ta-da! I'm really annoyed. <laughs> chili first because I figure if I go get chili then she won't run around while Nell's gone and yeah that's how my things gonna work anyways. To bring them down both at the same time but there's like a tractor and a massive pile of sand there so physically I kind of can't so I'm just gonna get chili up first as I said get her fitted first so the sale on the left is called the Anova Mono and I wanted to try this one and Chili's got her fat face in the way so anyways um, I want to try the Anova today, which I did, and I'm kind of in two minds about it. I, I don't know. I'll talk a little bit more about it at the end of the video anyways, but basically Liz was just doing the flocking on my trainer saddle and making sure it was all the same flocking because there was like two different types of flocking. Um, I didn't really film because I, I literally forgot to film and like ask her about filming, so this is the only clip I really got of Chili being a dude. Um, yes, yeah, so she's just putting the flocking in now. And then here is a clip of me riding in the Innova. Um, Chili was kind of weird this day. She was really stiff and not supple at all. So it's kind of embarrassed me riding around with her going around like a yang. But I felt really, really comfortable in the Innova. However, it's like $4,000. So, and as soon as you buy them, you lose like $2,000 straight off the retail price because it's a bait saddle and baits literally have no resale value. Um, I did feel really, really secure in it though. So... Compared to my Caprilli, I felt really, really good in it. So I'm kind of in two minds about it, to be honest, but we'll see. So as you can kind of see, Chili was like a bit crazy today. She was like galloping around, but I was really, really secure in the saddle. Like, um, usually I would have like literally fallen off by now. <laughs> like not fallen off, but like I would have started to grip with my legs and I could actually like, I didn't have to grip with my legs. Like I could just kind of sit there, which is a bit different. So this is her bad rain, as you can see. She's not really like... She's just kind of motor, like motorbiking around and stuff. But like, as you can see, my legs really secure. I'm not like swinging everywhere. So yeah, I don't know. I'm, I don't know. Let me guys what you think. If you watch some of my old videos, you can definitely see the difference. I think personally, but yeah, I don't know. I didn't get any footage of me riding in the Caprilli that day. So it's kind of hard to tell.
But me being me, I forgot to actually get my camera out when Liz was here, but she fitted all my saddles, which was really good. I was super glad that they all fit. <sighs> I am so hot. I got on and off chili like three times. I tried the Innova, which I like, but like I don't love it. Like it's not, I don't know. I'm kind of in two minds. I felt really, really secure in it, but at the same time, I feel like it's a lot of money for a saddle that essentially has no resale value so i don't know but yeah i got nell's saddle fitted as well so her endurance saddle is all fitted now i'm still gonna have the issue of her saddle sliding forward because she's so fat so basically liz said she just needs to lose weight yeah so i got my jump saddle fitted to chill my bates elevation i couldn't get fitted to anyone because it doesn't fit me so I'm going to have to sell that one probably or just use that one for Eddie when I take him out show jump, shy jumping, show jumping. Um, and yeah, so I'm very hot. Chill's lit, chill was, chili was so good. Um, she stood there for like three hours and had the saddle fitted and like all the saddles fitted. We tried three different saddles on her and she was so patient. So I'm so happy with her. As you can see, all my saddles are lined up in a row. Um, yeah, she was so good. I've got stuff literally everywhere. So yeah, I'm really, really happy with her. So I'm going to give her a hose off and then take her back up to the paddock once I give her something to eat. She sh pooped and put stuff everywhere. But yeah, so my back's really sore now. So fun, fun. I'm going to go get a drink though because I'm going to pass out because I have only had one bit of toast to eat all day. So I'm like literally dying. I'm not hungry though. I'm so nauseous, but I'm not hungry. Look at Nell Noodle as well in the yard. Yeah, I'm going to take Chili back to the, to the paddock first because Nellie is not super stupid and won't like try and jump through the fence like Nell, uh, Chili will, so yeah. Mama said she put a water in the freezer for me, so yes. Oh. That is disgusting. Ugh, I apologize to the saddle fitter that had to smell me. But yeah, I'm gonna go feed the girls. Well, feed Chili, because Nell does not need to be fed. And then take Chili back up to her paddock. Beautiful arena. I'm so lucky to adjust here. Like, no cap. Beautiful. And I literally pretty much get to myself every day. Ah, oh, so nice. And these two boys scratching themselves, loving on each other. Yeah, there were spiders in here. So Chili just gets three quarter scoop of high gain balanced and then she just gets the scoop chaff and then she gets the stuff which I'm pretty much out of and I'm trying a product from Pharmalogica I'll put it on the screen anyways yeah it's a bit cheaper so I'll see she's been really good on this as well so she just gets cell salts and I give her a full scoop if she's done work it's summertime. Where's my scoop there? Ta da! So I'm literally just gonna give it like that much off. And then she can also have a scoop of cell salt. Oh, my stomach's hurting because I drank that water. Cranky Fanny, because they're exactly that. Chili obviously getting more than Nolly. And Chili gets a protein supplement to help with her muscles, which she probably should have had earlier. But yeah, 
as long as she has it within an hour, I think it's all right. Vitamin and like vitamin, like magnesium, because she was a bit tight today, so I'll just give her a tiny, tiny little bit. And then maybe a tiny bit to chill as well, because she was a bit spunky today, so it might take the edge off a wee bit, but I doubt it. And yeah, that's all I get fed, and it just gets wet down into the food. Alright, so everyone is eating. Nelly's chucking a fit. And I'll clean up Chili's poop. This is the eighth. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the eighth time I've been like up and back this laneway, and the laneway is like a kilometre. So yeah. <sighs> I'm very, very tired. I need to take some pain medication ASAP because I feel like I'm gonna throw up pass out and throw up all at the same time. So yeah. Nelly was really good though. I walk, trot and canter her. Um, and she felt pretty good. She did get her back up a little bit, but it's just a green horse thing. Not so much her being naughty, like being in pain anymore because she wasn't kicking out her saddle or anything, which she was doing last time I rode her. So that's really, really good. Yeah, she was really, really good to get saddle fitted, unlike Chili. Like, I mean, Chili was really good, but like, Nell was superior. I'm just gonna put Nell back in her paddock, clean up her yard, because she's done a poop in that one, and then we should be good to go. And I can go home and start the other horses at home. So, yeah. I might end the vlog here, because I'll probably do voiceovers and stuff to like finish off the video. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I can definitely do more like this. Kind of like an everyday in the life type thing. Because obviously my life's kind of a bit crazy. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. Bye now, Nudo. Nudo say I'm famous. Please follow and subscribe. <laughs>